job and I picked up my pay today. Changing and I'm changing straight away. Gonna hit the street and walk a bit. This water was at one time a special and sacred place for the Onondaga people. Water is one of the things we need in our lives, but we still go on polluting our water. There are some things our mother cannot take back. You go on living the way we are, it's, now it's killing people. It's toxic. This is part of the toxicity that we're seeing here. Um, going to the seminar that they had sort of let me see that the bigger scope, it wasn't just a toxic lake, it's the whole thing. So then what are, what are the solutions? And I guess that's what I see COE working for, is the, the, the solution. Even the new building down there is like full of these innovative solutions to problems that people have. Oh, it's too hot because of the heat island effect. Let's put a garden on the roof. I mean, that's, that's brilliant. Why haven't we been doing that for years, you know? So in terms of the um, air pollution group, there's a group um, at ESF, Syracuse University, Clarkson, um, also at Cornell, that's involved in similar types of analysis, trying to look at the spatial components related to air pollution. So there's two kind of two major objectives. One objective is obviously here at the COE site, a major emphasis is indoor air pollution. When we're doing a tower right located here, we're doing outdoor air pollution. So one thing we're trying to do is coordinate what's going on the outside, what's going on the inside. And that's important because part of the ideas is that air exchange from the outside to the inside, and we need to know both the outdoor air pollution as well as the indoor air pollution. We are, Syracuse University and the Syracuse area is known around the world for this facility. It's a one-of-a-kind one of facility designed by Jensen Zhang and his team, uh, and it can test the side of your house. So in a frame, that's 10 feet high and 12 feet wide. You put the exterior of a, of a building envelope, slide it into the chamber. On the outside, we can make it be outside. Alaska, Florida, you, you name it. On the inside, there's a room size chamber. Oh, wow. size chamber. Look at the impact of outdoor on indoor and the influence of building materials. In central New York, this is going to be a riveting, empowered magnet for all people who are looking to see um, where their green thumb is, um, as well as world leaders coming to this Mecca uh, to find out what it is that they can do in their own countries and impart the wisdom that the Center of Excellence is, is learning and creating and researching about our environment, about the water, about inner uh, uh, the home air quality, home living space, work living space, um, and how we can impact our society as well as our environment in a positive way. There we go. Okay. 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 Again? <laughs> We've got a terrific team. They did a great job in preparing, and it's all going according to plan. As we look at the sun coming up, we see hope for a new day. As we look at this building going up, we also see hope. Hope for us 
Mother Earth and our children and their children. A renewal in our air quality, water and energy. Years ago, the Anadago people call this area Nakita, where the branches touch the water. Later on, we call this area Saigu, which is slang for Syracuse. There are two paths ahead of us. One is the path that brought us where we are today. The other path is green, full of hope for our children and their children. They call this place the center of excellence. I call this place the center of hope. Down to 